everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to do my second spread on my new sketchbook that I just recently opened so first I'm using two acrylic paints of two colors from a brand called folk up I'm using the baby wipe technique to spread the colors here it's pretty easy and fast to use these wipes I'm not going to gesso my page here because I know I'm not going to do anything watery so acrylic paint is rather dry so I don't see the need of gessoing as it is using this technique always the spine is left out so usually I'll use a paintbrush and use whatever leftover paint to just cover those with paint to blend it together. Here I'm using a clear stem with a design of wood locks. For that I'm using my brown archival ink pad by a brand called Sukiniko. Is that the right pronunciation? I don't know, yeah, it's by the Brilliance range. So here is a stencil that I cut using my Cricut machine. It's a very, very thin Mylar sheet actually. Not exactly suitable for mixed media journaling. But I thought I'll just use this. And of course here I'm using my modeling paste. My idea here was actually to color the modeling paste into some dull colored green. So you will see here my attempt at getting that right shade of green. So with all that pathetic, fruitless attempts, I gave up at this stage. This green is not the exact shade that I had in mind, but I felt that it may still work for this spread. So carefully, I tried to spread this coloured paste onto this very delicate stencil. I tried to do the same on the right part, but as I was doing it, I could feel that I butchered the design with my palette knife there but I thought oh well the idea of this green paste was to be canopies of trees on top next I'm using my another background clear stamps a design of musical notes just randomly stamping here and there to give the spread some interest. Then I decided to give those canopies some depth in colour. So I'm using my watercolour set for that. Just using brown, just experimenting. And honestly, I just love giving my art journal some dripping effects. I just love the look of it. So here I took out my watercolour set again because I wanted to give my spread some splatters. I thought my canopies needed more depth so I decided using my soft charcoal stick to give it some shadows or whatnot. I used my water spray bottle to each of these sections, doing them one by one so the water would flow on its designated sections only. prepare my random focal images in advance so I can create backgrounds to match them later. 
For this spread, I chose this set of bird houses that I doodled and watercolored. Then with my matte medium, I start to stick them one by one. I'm brushing all my focal images with the same matte medium because I plan to use my India ink later to give them some shadow. So to do that, I need them to have some matte surface. Paper castle brush pen? Nah. Bottle of India ink? Yes, thank you. I don't understand the rage about this Faber Castell India ink brush pens. I got myself a whole bottle of brown India ink for that same purpose. At least I know and I can see how much ink is left. Right. I wanted to use my stamp set that I got off Lazada that includes these tiny silhouettes of birds. So I'm using my acrylic block for that. This is actually the first acrylic block that I had ever purchased back in 2007. I have others of various sizes but I don't want to get all those out and dirty them all with my mixed media nonsense. And then here I'm using my Ranger Vintage Photo Ink Pad to give the bottom of my spread some, some border. And then next of course I need to trim out all those protruded birdhouse poles. This is actually a collection of journaling quotes that I collated and printed on my inkjet printer using sticker papers. I did them on standard black or white backgrounds. So I chosen the quote, Life is easier when you mind your own business. Once done, I used my gel medium to secure these stickers. I thought that was fitting for this spread because you can see that these birds are minding their own lives in their respective residence. To end it off, I'm using my black acrylic ink to give the whole spread some splatters.
So that's it. Thank you for watching guys. Happy journaling. Bye.